Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Your person, the Hierophant, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. They're viewing you as the Seven of Wands. What you don't see is the Magician in Reverse, Virgo Gemini energy. And the final outcome is Temperance. Okay, so we've got some pretty strong Major Arcanas coming through. Taurus, Virgo Gemini energy, and Sagittarius here. And we've got the Devil in Reverse, Capricorn energy. All right, so I can see here the overall energy. Somebody may have been dealing with a karmic third party, an ex. Um, feels like it was quite an unhealthy situation. Now, obviously, it can be this situation or it could be your ex or their ex. Um, but I do like what I'm seeing because the temperance energy tells me that there's healing and there's wish fulfillment here, Pisces. And for a lot of you, you know, like I said, you or your person might be getting out from under a very unhealthy connection. Um, the Queen of Swords energy in reverse is somebody who's quite angry, quite bitter. Um, so let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is this here? The Hermit card in reverse. Okay. So it can also be somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. And they're coming in with communication here, Pisces. Yeah. So I do feel that it's going to be a little bit emotionally overwhelming to hear from this person. For some of you, maybe you're on a break. For some of you, there was something that happened. There could have been a big fight or argument again. Or this person is coming out from a tough time in love with someone else. The Hermit card tells me that, you know, a lot of you, this is something you've been waiting for. That you've been manifesting or they have really strong Virgo energy. But the Queen of Cups energy in reverse tells me that you don't want to get too emotionally invested yet, Pisces, before you know what they're offering you. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with this energy or with Taurus placements, but this is somebody who's quite compatible with you. They may be a little bit more traditional than you is what I'm getting. Um, and we get the Six of Wands. This is somebody who gets a lot of attention, most likely. I'm getting that they're like a boss or a manager. They've done quite well for themselves. They could also be like a professor or a teacher. And this person has done whatever career path they've chosen. They've done quite well for themselves. They do get a lot of attention. But I also see that they're coming in to get for victory and the Death card, Scorpio energy. For some of you, they're coming in for a second chance because they want to heal things with you. For others of you, I'm seeing it may be a person that you've met, but they weren't quite available when you met them. And with the death card in reverse, they've never forgotten you or they've never really let go of this connection, but it feels like they're coming in for victory now. All right, they see you as the seven of wands. So, you know, Pisces, they're seeing you as somebody who also has done quite well for themselves, but your energy is guarded, okay? But the Seven of Wands is somebody who's victorious. Um, they're not so sure if you're single or if you if you would accept whatever they're offering. Ooh, this person's really worried that they've missed an opportunity with you. I'm feeling, Pisces, for some of you, like I don't know if it's a fight or an argument that you've had or you met this person and they weren't fully single. They're worried that they've missed an opportunity. They're worried that you don't want to invest or you're not going to hear them out, that you're really guarded. Okay, because of something that happened previously. And we do see magician energy in reverse that you have to be a little bit careful. Okay, this Virgo Gemini energy, this can be a trickster energy here. But we see the world. Okay, so what I'm seeing too, for some of you, this is a time frame. Something ended for this person during Mercury retrograde, right? And we just got out of Mercury retrograde on the 2nd. 
um, which is yesterday. So over the last couple of weeks, something here has ended for this person. All right. And we get the Knight of Swords energy in reverse. They might have blocked a third party. So for some of my Pisces, this is somebody that maybe you flirt with or you like, or maybe you were talking to. They may have told you, or you know, they may have been in another connection. I'm seeing that's over. Okay, I'm seeing that that's over. I also feel it's possible you haven't heard from this person during Mercury retrograde. I feel like you're going to hear from them pretty soon. Temperance energy tells me to tells me that it's important that you don't rush into things. But this is about answered prayers. This is about manifestation. So some of you, you're manifesting this person's return. A lot of my Pisces, again, remember, they're seeing you as maybe a missed opportunity or like you're not going to take them back. But I think that they're coming towards you. Absolutely. And we get the two of wands. So you have a big decision to make here if you're going to give this person a shot. And the princess of cups. Well, some of you are going to start something with this person because it feels like they may have freed themselves up. Knight of Wands, this person's very passionate about you. They're going to come rushing towards you, Pisces. And the decision is absolutely going to be up to you, okay? And it feels like, obviously, somebody that you've met before or you were dealing with, they are worried that you're going to push them away or you're really guarded or they really missed an opportunity. But I feel this Mercury retrograde, something ended for this person, whether it's their silence, whether they got clarity or it's another connection, but they are coming towards you. So we get house. Ooh, I see this person. This person has everything that they need, but they don't have you or they don't have love. Yep, they want to date you. They want to date you. And I think with that Hierophant energy, they have their designs here. They want more. They see a future with you and marriage. Wow. Wow. And we get occupation. Some of you, you know this person um, through work, but for others of you, and that doesn't mean they're coworkers, maybe Maybe they came and worked on your house. Maybe you went to their house, whatever it might be. Um, but I feel like this person has been working alone, okay? Or they don't, like, it's like they've, I feel like they've just built themselves this kind of house and it feels a little bit lonely here. And so I, th I think that they absolutely see this progression of dating and marriage, or at least that's what they want, all right? Now, for some of you, you may have been seeing each other and this person's divorce wasn't quite final, Okay, so that's not going to be for all of you, but they're worried that they've missed an opportunity. They are coming towards you, Pisces, all right? So let's see. We get, I can't stop thinking about you. You're always in my dreams. Oh, Pisces. <laughs> we get, are you in love with me or my potential? So this person is probably used to getting a lot of attention because they've done quite well for themselves. They may have been used in the past. Um, or they might fear, you know, that people only see what they've built for themselves rather than who they truly are. So this person has those fears. I wouldn't take that personally. It feels like because they've been they've been used. Okay, and we get I suck at goodbyes, but this is only goodbye for now. So for some of you, like I said, they either ghosted, they went quiet, or you had to let each other go, or things couldn't progress. They're planning on coming back around. My twin flame, my love. Yeah, this person is feeling you so hard, Pisces. Wow. And they want it all. They want, they're, you know, they're seeing, you know, dating and marriage. And they, yeah, wow. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Someone's he someone here is getting out of a toxic cycle or a toxic relationship. And I feel that's what's putting you on each other's path. New love. So for a lot of you, it's a new person. Okay. It's somebody that maybe you didn't have any involvement with them, but things couldn't go forward because, you know, they weren't single or, but it does feel like you know this person. Okay. And we get engagement. So a lot of you, this, look at this, we get courtship, marriage. The only thing we we're missing was engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's what this person wants. A lot of you, this is the trajectory of this relationship. Ask for and accept support from others. Wow, Pisces. So, yeah, your friends are helping you out here, angels and guides. But also, you know, maybe you know this person through friends. Um, you know, they might even reach out through a friend to see what's up with you. 
Let's see what else we get. And we get the winged messenger. You're going to be getting a, this is mercury energy. This is, there's something here about this mercury retrograde ending where this person's going to reach out. Creation, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. This person's going to reach out now that mercury retrograde has ended. All right, and let go. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. So they're letting go of something unhealthy, or maybe you are, but that's what's putting them on your path. All right, Pisces. So powerful messages here. I'm going to leave it leave it as it is. Um, if these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Pisces. Take care.